Hello everyone, welcome to TechTrude.com. In this lecture, we will study what is two-phase locking protocol. Okay, and we will start with basic two-phase locking protocol. So in last lecture, we studied what is the problem with simple locking protocol, and that's why we come to this two-phase locking protocol. Okay, so now let's understand what do we mean by two-phase. So when we say two-phase, it means that this locking and unlocking has two phases. Okay, and the first one is called growing phase. So in growing phase, only locks are obtained. Okay, so locks, locks are obtained, but not released. It means that only locks will be obtained in this phase, but no lock will be released in this phase. Okay, next phase is shrinking phase. In shrinking phase, only locks are released, but no new locks will be taken. Okay, so only so in this phase, in shrinking phase, locks are released, but no new locks will be taken. Okay, no new locks will be taken. So what I mean by saying is, if you assume a transaction by this, so let's say this is growing phase of the transaction. Okay, so here let's say I lock I'm not writing exclusively that which one is exclusive lock or which one is shared lock so I'm just saying lock so lock let's say here I have on data item X I applied some lock then I read the data item okay then I apply another lock on some data item B okay then I write data item B okay like this we go further and once we start unlock okay so for example here I unlock B once I start unlock then in this phase I cannot lock further data item okay I cannot take any lock here so if I try to let's say lock data item C so this will be terribly wrong okay we cannot acquire a new lock similarly here we cannot release some lock let's say here I lock the data item X and I read the data item X now X is no more required further to be locked right but as per this rule as per this protocol in the growing phase we cannot release any database item we cannot release any lock even if it is no longer required okay and once we start unlocking for example here in shrinking phase once we start unlocking we cannot lock further item okay so this is growing and shrinking phase so when we talk about lock upgrade and downgrade it's something like let's say if I have to start with a data item X and I want to just read this data item X then I need not to acquire a exclusive lock okay so what I do is I acquire a shared lock okay shared lock on this data item x fine and then i can read this data item x fine but later on if i want to write operation on this database item in that case before i perform write i have to upgrade this lock this lock i have to upgrade it and i have to do a lock x that is exclusive lock on database item x so this is upgradation of lock okay upgradation of lock similarly now this write is over if I want to perform a read okay or some other transaction want to perform read let's say this is read by transaction I on database item X then it won't be allowed because it is exclusively locked right so what we do in 2pl or uh, in next 2pl that we can we can downgrade the lock okay so downgrading of lock is that we after this lock is uh, this write up operation is done we what we do is we do a lock s that is we downgrade the lock on this data item right and then other transaction can perform read 
so this is called lock upgrade and downgrade right so here in basic 2pl okay basic two phase locking protocol what we have is when we start locking that is it is completely based on two phases okay now we will do some other upgradation when we learn uh, different version of two phase locking protocol for example uh, when we go for conservative two phase locking strict two phase locking or rigorous two phase locking so that will be adding some extra rules in the this basic two phase locking so two phase locking is simply when we ha having two phases of lock one is growing phase of lock where only locks will be acquired and another one is shrinking phase where only locks are released no new locks will be taken okay so this is two phase locking but the problem with this two phase locking is this ensures serializability okay but we have a problem of deadlock and cascading rollback in this case another thing which we should know is that what is lock point okay so lock point is when we start in this you you see this is growing phase right locks are growing now when we have the final lock on some database item let's say here i have lock on some database item mm, z okay and after this unlock starts and we already know that when unlocking starts we cannot lock further item okay so this lock when we did our final lock is called lock point okay so this is called lock point right the point or the time when we acquired our final lock and afterwards we started releasing so of course even if we are not starting let's say this is the last lock and then we are performing some operation then also this the simple point is when the last lock was acquired that will be called lock point of the schedule okay this lock points are used to define the serializability or to find out that with which serial schedule this particular schedule is equivalent to so what i want to say is let's say i have transaction t1 and t2 and t3 okay and so let's say here it has lock point i am writing lock point and by lock point you understand that for this transaction this was the last lock similarly for this transaction this this was the this was the last lock lock point and for this this was the last lock okay so these lock points are used to serialize or basically check the serializability or to define the serializability okay so if we want to find out what is the equivalent schedule serial schedule for with which this transaction this schedule is serial serializable okay or or equivalent then we can define it in the order when the lock point was obtained okay so the first lock point was obtained for transaction t1 at this point so we say that we have to start with t1 now second was for t3 so then it will be followed by t3 and then finally it was t2 so it will be t2 right so likewise we define serializability for a particular schedule using this lock points now the question is that what are the problems with this simple two phase locking the first one we have seen that resource utilization is low right that is a process or a operation can wait even if the data which it requires is no longer required for other transaction okay so we can have unnecessary or early uh, locks so it's unnecessary wait due to early lock okay and second one what we can have is we can have deadlock okay and one which we will talk is we can have cascading rollback so in the next lecture we will see with the example that how we can have these problems 
of problems it was uh, unnecessary weight due to early lock so I'll write unnecessary weight due to early lock okay so next lecture we will understand these problems in detail so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching